How's it going guys? Um, welcome back for another video. Today we are going to be upgrading the hard drive with a solid state drive on this 2014 Mac Mini. Um, the 2014 Mac Mini, Apple nearly killed all upgradability on this device. Um, the user RAM is not upgradable. Uh, if you ordered the PCIe solid state, um, it's not going to be upgradable. However, you can save a little money by upgrade by buying the uh, traditional hard drive and doing the solid state yourself. One thing to note, however, PCIe is a quicker um, hard drive. So, you know, if you have the money, you can go with that. Uh, otherwise, it's not really that much noticeable, so you can always upgrade this yourself. Um, I'm going to be putting a 500 gig hard drive in here, solid state. I bought the one terabyte um, traditional 54 RPM hard drive. So to start off, we want to turn around the Mac Mini, and we're going to start off with this pry tool. Um, you can use, you know, a thin piece of plastic. Maybe a credit card would work, and just pop it up like that. Um, these you can get on eBay for very cheap. I wouldn't recommend a screwdriver to pop this off. You might accidentally scratch the aluminum casing. So popping that off, uh, we'll set that aside, the Mac Mini cover. And we are first greeted with these TR6, that's a tamper resistant uh, Torx 6 screw. And this is the tool I'll be using. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that. Uh, I found this cheap. I believe it's on Amazon or eBay, one of them. And um, one thing to note is these three are larger than these. The screw, the screw size is the same. Um, it's just these pop up a little bit and that's because they are what's holding the cover in place. Okay, so after we have all of our scre screws removed, this metal and mesh back plate, um, the Wi-Fi antenna is located here, is removable. And be careful because behind there, um, there's still a wire attached. And it appears to be this one here. This is the um, Apple Wi-Fi antenna for the airport card. So I initially tried it with a Phillips screwdriver and it's actually a Torx screw. And then after we have that removed, you can remove the Wi-Fi antenna. Okay, and we have the Wi-Fi antenna removed. I found it easier not to just grip on the uh, part, the end piece, but sort of where the cable attaches onto there. So now we have this cover removed. That is the back plate, I suppose. Um, our next removal is the fan. You will need to remove the fan to access the motherboard. So here's um, using our T6 security screwdriver. Here's that. Um, it's compatible with just the same screwdriver. Keep those in the position in case that um, you need to turn the same or at least the same size. This one's definitely a different size here. Uh, please note that this is going to void your warranty removing the, um, you know, replacing the hard drive yourself. So after we move this screw, the fan is removable. Gently lift up the ribbon cable. Alright, so this just snaps right down into place. Um, so gently remove the fan. All right, so we're going to remove this screw here. It's a Torx screw again, and this is what's gonna cover our hard drive. Have a metal plate here. That's the hard drive connector. And what we need to do now is remove the motherboard 
So what happens is the motherboard just slides down from here on out. And we are going to use a hanger, a coat hanger. You can buy a special tool to remove the motherboard. Um, it Online it look, appeared to be just a piece of metal that went from there to there. So I'm going to use a coat hanger, cut off the ends and make my own tool. There's the coat hanger, and we want it to go here and here. So we're gonna bend this into place. Using the tool, we've been able to push this motherboard out. Um, one thing to note is I did remove another Torx screw, which was located right here, and that seemed to help out um, with the removal of the motherboard. This is actually held in very tightly, so uh, you do have to use a lot of force, and it's actually quite scary for the first time doing that. Um, I've removed the hard drive cable again. I'm going to, and I'm going to possibly remove this one here. All right, so this cable here appears to just snap into place, so we removed this one also. And this pops out the entire motherboard. I'm going to take a guess and I'm going to say that's the RAM there. And okay, so we're going to set this aside. This is the power brick right here, power supply for the Mac Mini. Uh, we are going to take that apart. So take that out. So to pull out the power supply, you need to pull this pin out. It goes this way. And then you're going to take this um, thing and twist it left right there so that it unlocks from the top and the bottom. And from there, our power supply is going to come right out. That's the power supply there. After you have that removed, this is the hard drive tray, and we can push that right out. So there you go, that's the full casing, and this is what we have to work with now. Um, we are greeted with a one terabyte 54 RPM hard drive, very disappointing. All right, so the hard drive appears to be a T8. Torx 8 screw. Now the hard drive right here, I'm gonna slide the connector back in. It's the hard drive tray, this is the hard drive. Gently peel up on the cable, and I think you're going to have to remove this tape first. And then the connector just pops out like that. You might want to remove these two feet, um, but if you're replacing it with a solid state, there will be no vibrations. So you might not actually need it. And this hard drive is manufactured by HGST, it looks like. I've never heard of them. Um, but anyways, this is our solid state. We're going to replace it and then put the whole thing back together. I'd say it'd be useful anyways to take these off just so that it'll damper the system a little bit and keep it all, um, you know, feeling solid. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive, and we got there. Um, this is a this is a old hard drive I have, so today I actually won't be upgrading my hard drive. Um, I'm waiting on a 500 gig solid state from Samsung, the Samsung Evo. Um, I ordered it on Amazon, 
So, all right, I'm gonna fast forward through the reinstallation of the hard drive and I'm gonna put back the old one. Um, and I'm gonna come back to redo this when I put in my 500 gig solid state. <laughs> Anyways, please subscribe to my channel, um, like the video, hit the thumbs up button, and leave your comments down below. Make sure you check out my channel, subscribe right here. I'll link a link, leave a link in the description. Um, and really, that's the only reason why I post these videos out there is because um, you guys want to see it and uh, to help you guys out. So please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.